Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to 20 Sides to Every Story. Before we uh, do anything else, let's go ahead and check out all these uh, cheers and whatnot. We have uh, Daw Daw coming in. And uh, Lyra, thank you very much for those bits. Also, thank you so much, D -d 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 Dave. I appreciate the sub. Uh, Kabloomers! Oh, <laughs> got the hype train going on. We're at a, trying to get to level two. Let's see if we can do it. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you so much. Uh, 20 sites to every story. We're, uh, tonight, we are playing a very... Um, I'm excited, especially, because we're playing a game uh, system that I have been looking forward to running for uh, quite a while. Uh, I was gifted uh, this game system uh, a few months ago, and I pretty much did a deep dive, read everything, and uh, now I'm excited to learn the system with all of you. <laughs> we are playing Forbidden Lands. Uh, it's a hex crawl sandboxy uh, type game uh, where the adventurers can be heroes or they could just be rogues and raiders trying to find gold looking for adventure. Um, the game is really... Uh, for the most part, I would say it is a bit um, a bit random. There's a lot of tables and whatnot, so it, there's a lot of fun and interesting ways that these stories could uh, kind of work out. Uh, before we get started with anything else, uh, if you would like, uh, we are, as far as who we are, we are a uh, 20 sides to every story. We are a tabletop uh, role-playing uh gaming group uh we have people um that play with us from all over the country and in some cases uh, internationally as well so we're very uh excited to be with he uh, you here tonight if you'd like to check us out further uh please join us on discord you can come and check that out uh come and say hi we'll probably be in there afterwards uh you can just uh, chat with us about many things. Uh, tabletop RPGs is only one of the many facets of things that we enjoy talking about. Um, that's right. Hey, Tex. It's good to see you. Um, so I guess uh, without further ado, I think uh, we might get started. What do you say? Okay. Is everybody feeling good? All right. So... Um, before just this last little bit of information we are learning the system the system has a lot of different roles as far as a lot of mechanics kind of involved so there might be times where we're kind of taking our time kind of figuring things out and uh that's okay because um from what i've seen uh these mechanics really help kind of solidify uh the role play and immersion, kind of the immersive experience. So now, now that I got that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. Um, so first off, uh, before we get uh, any further, I'm going to ask you all to, uh, hi, Lyra, good to see you out there too, uh, to pick a token for your quarter uh the day counter i feel what what is this what is this party before we even figure out who we are and talk about who we are playing what are we liking uh if you look over here the the way this game is kind of broken out broken up is into quarter uh of the day where you go hiking adventuring exploring foraging hunting so what are we thinking there's kind of two options here what are, what are we thinking as far as what we would like to do, pick, huh? Oh, so have it's very... either the sexy lady or the undead ghoul? Yeah, what What are we thinking? What kind of party do we think we're going to be? I sexy mean, that's, lady a, that's, a, that's a cruel undead lead. Ghoul? Both of those are the same sexy lady. That's just a before and after they've encountered the party. <laughs> oh. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> They're both, it's a, maybe it's a sexy <laughs> ghoul. Who knows? Both either way, what, in their own is a way. sexy ghoul. <laughs> it's running your token. Uh -huh. You don't know what we'll get. <laughs> so, what are you all thinking? 
Let's go with the before. Okay, right here. That sounds good. And then oh, we yeah, we before. eventually. Oh, that one? Okay. I want a happy ending. <laughs> oh, this one. Or this one. This is before the bender. This is after the bender. You start drinking the beer. You finish drinking the beer. Oh. Right. So. Someone pick up something and take it off there, and that's what it's not going to be. How about that? Okay. I will <laughs> not be the lady yet. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You've so chosen also, the tiger. We are choosing to do this on a table, a virtual tabletop. So it's there's a little bit more like, I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see all these moving pieces around. A little different way of kind of setting up this game. So, uh, great. Uh it is morning time. Uh, the group finds itself a uh, cozy night last night. You've, uh, yeah, you've, you've, you're, uh, you found yourself under, uh, in a, you're in the forest and you found, last night you found a small uh, rock uh, that you uh, seem to keep the, well, a little larger rock to keep the, the wind chill off uh, in this forest. And you put the fire up against it and uh, the group, uh, the three of you uh, met a new friend. You had some drinks. You celebrated an, a, a very nice glass of wine uh, and you find yourselves waking up in the morning here. And I want you all so first, before we get started, let's go ahead and introduce our characters to one another. I'm going to go ahead and we'll start just right on top. Uh, Alex, can you please introduce as you're, you're the first one to awake? What, what who do we see? Uh, you would see a goblin. He's got a. Uh face that is rather uh, pockmarked with boils and warts and such. Um, he has one ear that looks a little bit rougher, uh, a little mangled, uh, kind of a sign of some of the rougher uh, travels that he had earlier in his adventuring career. Um, but he's still alive, and he is still at it and now he is waking up feeling good that he's uh, met some new companions uh, the numbers game has always worked well for him so um, he's 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 an early riser and so he would be uh, doing what he can to get breakfast ready uh, you know crack a few eggs maybe get some uh, coffee going for the group uh, he he's gonna do everything he can to get things get things cozy and get things ready for the group to get set. All right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Casey. Uh, you hear a bit. Your character kind of hears a bit uh, of kind of tapping, kind of stirring, and you soon uh, awaken. Who who do we see? Sure. Uh, so kind of. Um uncurling from having been balled up with his tail over his nose is a uh, black and white wolfkin. Uh, he kind of shakes off the morning dew and starts sniffing around towards the pot. Um, he's a... Uh... He's young-ish looking, uh, so when he's you know paying attention, he sort of slicked his fur back. He looks like an adult, but on waking up, you can see like the undercoat's too fluffy and everything's kind of poofed out and a little bit curled. So he's definitely on the younger side, just out of his uh, you know uh, puppy fluff. Um, he's sort of uh, uh, sniffing around, and uh, you've heard uh, you would have heard him referred to as fluffy or fluffers. Um, I think is how my uh, orc companion calls him. Um, and he sort of looks at uh, Thorn Price and then looks around and says, uh, who was on watch last night? Uh, we should decide that before we fall asleep. And he sort of gets up and is like rubbing the side of his temple. Kind of getting the wine taste off his tongue heads over t 
takes a sip and sort of settles down back on his haunches and watches Price cooking. Do you need help? No, no. If you had a bit to drink last night, you just get your rest. I'm gonna go see if I can turn up something to taste the take this taste out of my mouth. Maybe there's a, a vole around or something. And they'll just kind of like move to the outskirts and just look and see, you know, if there were any mice or other small critters that had come up in the night, maybe after their leavings to see if he can thwomp us some extra breakfast meats. <laughs> okay. So as you are attempting to do that, uh, we are going to go ahead and move over uh, to Jenna. Jenna, you hear kind of the beginning of Fluffy kind of moving. He moves past you as he kind of seems to be leaving the camp um, and it kind of awakens you. But can you tell us who your character is and what do who do we see? Um, You would see uh, she has kind of taken on the moniker of half ear. Um, uh, she is a half elf, so it's rather fitting. Uh, she is fairly, I would say, average in most aspects. Uh, the most kind of interesting thing for most people would be that she is a half elf, or like that's what she had grown up with. Um, very friendly face. Uh, black hair usually kept back in a braid. Uh, and doesn't like look like the adventuring type at all like is probably mostly like usually sticks to more like peasant wear has maybe not, like just now swapped over to a proper pair of pants like <laughs> for adventuring but overall is fairly like comfortable looking um and when she hears uh kind of fluffy going off and talking to someone else she will sit up from like she's got her blanket all wrapped up and she sits up and just kind of like rubbing her eyes and goes to like fix up her hair a little bit and she's like I think did we invite the goblin last night? I don't Didn't remember. We? The name is Merkel if you've forgotten. Seems that you have. I it's okay. I was just testing you. <laughs> right. <laughs> Thank you for making breakfast work. He'll hand you like a tin cup <laughs> that has like a warm beverage. And drink this. It will help. Ooh. Oh, that smells good. And she's going to like start like sipping and it's just kind of like looking like back and forth between uh, Fluffy and Merkel. Uh... And she eventually kind of like looked back over to um, Rope. Sorry, it took me a second. I kept thinking peaches. Um, <laughs> I go look over to Rope and kind of, kind of give his like foot like a little bit of a nudge to kind of help wake him up a little bit. I'm like, we got breakfast. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. It's not eggs and bakey, but we got it. <laughs> I don't wanna. Yep. <laughs> I guess I'll go next. Hi, everybody. I'm Dada, and what you see before you is a rather not a pleasant-looking orc, probably in his mid to late forties. A uh, little messed-up-looking face. Probably fought one too many fights more than he should have. He has one tusk that's a little longer than the other. Other one snapped off. And he's probably the one that drank the most out of the bottle last night and is really feeling it in the morning. He's got a big old bucket helmet that he's pretty much using as like his little eye covering for his sleep. And he's just echoing from the thing saying, I don't want to get up. What's the point? I don't, I don't, uh, I don't feel so good. Just leave me here. If you're going to be sick, turn your helmet back around the other way. It, it will collect everything that comes out. It's fine. There's probably a river somewhere. Just leave me to this. 
Ah, uh, you shouldn't have let me drink so much. I was I wasn't about to stop you. <laughs> I Very think... wise decision. I like to think I am. By the way, there's stew. He just like stew. Your horse drank ate stew. Oh. And like he goes back to wallowing. If he doesn't want it, I'll have his portion. This is really good. <laughs> I have a feeling he may change his mind. And like you hear like whip punk. Damn it. And then <laughs> Sounds like no bacon. So as far as I guess we'll go ahead and just start introducing mechanics as we go. Um, you are able to forge. You're able to hunt for food if you'd like. Uh, the way quarter um, quarter days pretty much work is you can either explore the area. You can decide to hike somewhere to new area. You can forage. You can hunt. You can practice. Try to learn a new skill. Uh, you can craft, you can repair your items, pretty much any of those things. Now, take uh, doing uh, foraging for anything uh, substantial takes about a quarter day, which is a, a six hours total. So if you're looking for something substantial other than maybe a mouse or something like that, then uh, that is what you're doing. But I mean, you're more than welcome. Is to, Would you like? to go a, a little bit further than just looking for mice or what what is the agenda for for this group today so the quarter day yeah. thing like the day is literally divided into quarters so if we need yes. to take a overnight sleep or whatever is that considered a does that count as a quarter day to that get that benefit quarter or? day 6 hours to get a benefit of sleep plus rest yes and as far as making camp, that also takes a quarter day to make camp. If you wish. Oh, okay. Be extra comfy. And if we want to mm. do something like foraging, is that like in individual action? Like one person could go foraging, one can go hunting, or is that a group decision? Well, uh, the way that works is that if you all want to go together to forage or hunt, then you would be giving a help die to whoever you're helping. You would give one extra dice of help. Or you can individually go out and do it, but you won't be in the same area. You you would anything that comes up and sneaks up on you, you're dealing with that on your own. Mm, okay. Any hardship that you face, you're dealing with it on your own. So risk and reward is mm. what it's all about. Ooh. So mm. Fluffy would sort of kind of talk back from a little bit past, you know, the tree line and be like, if someone has any snares or a trap, we could hunt for something larger. Otherwise, I think all I'm going to find is more onion grass. Um, I'm curious. Uh, from my initial learning playthrough that we had a while back, I have a fishing net. Um, but I think when we ended, it was like a broken fishing, fishing net. Mm -hmm. Would I have fixed it now or should I uh, sit down and fix it now? And that way we could like see how that works or. Well, um, I would say that you haven't fixed it yet and you can choose to do that. So then I think what I'm I... going to do mm -hmm. we, at this point, I will go ahead and ask. OK, it's morning time. Mm -hmm. All right. What I'm going to go ahead and ask uh, what the group collectively thinks they would like to do. And if someone's, and then you could decide on if you want to do all different things or if you want to decide to doing something together. All right. Okay. So morning time has arrived. What would the group like to do? Hmm. I think I'd be interested in doing some foraging and trying to gather some food before uh, doing any travel. Yeah, I I could I could help with that. 
um i could either do that or eventually fix that net because i know like for if i want if we ever wanted to do fishing like in the future for like getting stuff in camp it gives like a, a two dice bonus Ooh. um yeah i do have a like fishing line and hook and like that's a one bonus but a bonus is a bonus i just never got around to fixing it <laughs> So I well, could go the, either, either or. You'll be foraging. Uh, perhaps I should keep watch. And he sort of like, as he says that, takes out his spyglass and just. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can give me a scout check right now if you'd like. If if it seems like, or are you looking to maybe keep watch while they're doing that? I would say keep watch for the quarter day. Do keep watch, or yeah. Keep an eye on the area, because last sure. time we didn't, goblins came and took somebody's horse. Merkel gives right. a shudder a little bit when he sees the spyglass. <laughs> hey, I can. Uh, I'll. I'll help. Uh, I. I'll help Merkel uh, forage for food. Okay. So we have two people foraging. Uh, Roth, rope. What would you like to do, rope? All right, if you guys are gonna go out and look for food, I'll just stay here with fluffers. I gotta work on my helmet, anyways. It's the only thing I can fix in this part of me. Uh, I'd like to repair my crit helm. Okay, so it sounds like you are spending the morning doing a number of tasks. Uh, fluffers, are you staying? You're staying in camp then? It seems like. Yeah, basically climbing a tree or getting to the highest outcrop possible and then keeping overwatch on them as they travel. Okay. That Whatever's sounds good. You kind of that sounds good. I'm going to ask you then to go ahead and roll a scout check first. Sure. We're going to start off the day with a scout check. Scout so... check says I get five of those. I get two of those and i get one of nope did it wrong one of those five of those two of those oh. roll 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 your boat gently down the stream so the way this uh system works for uh those wondering about rolling this is a uh, mostly a d6 system uh so ones are going to be um when you when you get a one it's not necessarily a failure but it's you are it's a strain on some of the skills that you're doing or it's a, a broken gear uh sixes are success and the more sixes you have the more successful successful you are at doing something you can have success while you still are straining yourself and that that works with pushes and whatnot hey uh thank you so much oh 28 28 months wow Ooh, we've all been around for a while <laughs> also hey gabe right that's that was chris, chris. That's oh, that was chris. chris hey chris yeah sorry the g threw me off in the beginning mm-hmm yeah, that does that for me too. Oh, thank you so much for the sub. The oh. potato lion. Hey Chris, Man. it's good to see you. All right. So, so on on the dice, I got two sixes, so two successes, one uh skull, so one failure, but doesn't matter because I haven't pushed yet, correct? Exactly. That is so correct. I'll stand with my two successes. Okay, so you have two successes. Um yeah, you seem to be able to kind of keep an eye on camp and you are kind of looking in the distance trying to i mean this is a bit of a force but you're doing your best to try to keep an eye maybe hopefully they stay within yelling distance so you can if, some, if you see something maybe you might be able to warn them all right next i would like to um let's go ahead and move over to the foraging you are in a uh not heavy uh you're not in a heavy forest but uh it's 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 wooded um what uh how does it look 
Uh, what does it look like, uh, you going out and foraging, you two? Well, I think uh, perhaps Merkel is a little bit more chipper. Um, he would not have indulged very much in any of the drinking or debauchery the night prior, although he probably, in order to integrate with the group, you know, made it seem like he was maybe imbibing more than he actually was. And so he's maybe a few paces maybe ahead of half year. Mm -hmm. Or is it how is it actually happier? Is it like healthier? It is, it is happier. Okay. <laughs> um, it's yeah, it's like the nickname she got like when she was back in her village, and she just kept to it. Like, it's just what she sticks with. Um, and yeah, that sounds about right. She might have been like trying to be chipper at the camp, but. When not around everyone else, you could tell she's like definitely like kind of like like tired and like the feet maybe dragging a little bit more. As, but she is kind of like taking her time and like just kind of like 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 scanning through. Um, maybe like as she's walking uh, in the forest, she might like drag her foot and kind of like like eat, like maybe like make a little X or something to like to be like okay, I checked this spot as like she's kind of keep on going so she's like tired but she's also kind of like eh, she's using it like as she's going to at least like keep track of like where she's looking that's good all right in that case uh mr thorn price can you give me a forage roll that is a survival and i think it's it's plus one because i'm helping that like a correct. like and an additional dice is going to be towards uh, your skill. So that's like that red die. That's the one that if you get a one, uh, we're not going to hold it against you. Okay. So I need to get this like counter thing up to four. Is that what I have to do? Mm -hmm. So you have. And then, wits. so that's my base. Uh, base. Yep. And then I get something from the help. Is it just one? Uh, one. Yes. So five. And then how oh, do no, I I'm sorry. pop it? You, oh. you, you want to put four and then you want to put this one down here to one. You okay. want to have four and a one. Yep. And then what do I push? Uh, push that number. Push the number, okay. Yep. All right, so oh. what we're seeing is that, and the way you're reading this is you're looking pretty much for ones or sixes, and I don't see any sixes. Would you like to push that roll? I'm going to give it a push. Go ahead. You can roll, re roll, push both of those. See if we get any ones. All right. So we do get a success, and that's great. All right. But we do also get a, um, a bit, a bit of strain. Now, what is the, for, as far as for survival, I believe that the base skill is wits. So I want you to just describe what is going on. What are you doing? Uh, I'm going to say that you end up finding a, um, some some root you're gonna find some root it's it's like a, a large tuber right it's it's a bit dirty but you find it but what happens along the way that you end up kind of straining yourself a bit um while we're out foraging uh merkel is asking a lot of questions he's kind of multitasking so he's asking hell fear um a lot of questions just trying to get a sense of like where they're going, whether they're a worthwhile group to stick around. And, um, he's might be revealing a little, like he's usually pretty, um, subtle, but I think in, in the effort to be, uh, multitasking and whatnot, like he's maybe laying it on a little thick or he's like revealing like a duplicitous, like kind of nature about him. Okay. That sounds good. And uh, because of that, so what you're going to do is in on your character sheet uh, for your wits, uh, you're going to see next to that uh, number, you'll have an attribute. Uh, what Your wits are four? Uh, I think it's three. Three? Okay. I guess uh, right, so, yeah. it, maybe it's going the other way too, that I'm collecting. Maybe some of the, what I'm collecting is actually junk or not usable because... My attention is split. Okay, that sounds good. So 
pretty much what that means is that what the, as far as what that one is, is that means that you've strained yourself mentally. So the rest of the day until you recover and rest, you are going to be rolling wits with one less die. So if you look over here on your uh, character sheet right here, uh, you said that you have three wits. So then here, and this is good because so everyone kind of at home uh, and everyone watching kind of understands kind of like the mechanics of this system. You would just be unchecking one of those. So from now on, if I ask for a something that has to do with wits, you'll be rolling with two die instead of three. All right. So um, when you uh, you find yourselves uh, heading back uh, and you have you could go ahead and note that you have one unit of food of, of vegetables is what it is. So these this unit of vegetables, it. It doesn't count as a uh, D6 com consumable die, uh, but it will count as an instance of food of you eating it. If you had a talent that you actually really knew how to cook this food, then you'd be able to get a little bit more benefit out of it. But with that one success, you do have that one raw vegetable that you could consume instead of rolling your die, your consumable die for the day. Now we are moving over to rope. All right. What are you doing? Well, I gotta fix this great helm. Everyone's gonna be gone. I gotta take my frustrations out and stumped in. God, get this liquor out of me. I might as well go bang a helmet. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna be rolling a crafting uh, roll. Okie dokie. That's my strength plus absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. All right, bend it a little bit here, bend it there. Oh. <laughs> All right, so unfortunately, well, first I should ask, would you like to push? You know what? Because I feel like I haven't done this at all yet. I'm going to push this thing. Just bend it in the shape. Come on, little more, dear. Oh, oh, excellent. So you have an additional, you, I see three successes with one uh, failure. That means that you will be taking a point uh, off of your strength for the day. Now, how does that, what are you doing exactly? How does it look? You get to gain, you're gaining three additional points of armor to this great helm. So you get to add three to it, which is amazing. But what are you doing that you end up kind of straining yourself a bit? Well, it seems that he's like now kind of reformed this helmet to more accommodate his shape it goes back up to its max rank of four but in doing so i mean with the tools he's got maybe his hand just slipped a little bit too much and when he was pounding something into place he just absolutely smashed his hand <laughs> right. from like and up you... in the trees you hear don't worry about me i fixed the helmet it's good now that poor sap who had this before would be impressed by this work. I'm fine. Thanks for asking, you jerk. <laughs> so another mechanic about one of the benefits of pushing, and even if you get that strain, and this is something that you would be getting too, uh, Alex, uh, your character, is that for every um, point of damage that you take when you're pushing, you also get a willpower point. So both you and uh, Rope would get an additional willpower point, and that's going to help you uh, tremendously when it comes to talents or if you're a spellcaster, things like any, any of your talents that have to do with uh, willpower, it's going to help you out. So you could go ahead and mark an additional willpower point for both of you. Am I supposed to, uh, do I have any by default? 
uh, did you have any from? You do not start with any unless okay. you had some from that previous uh, little quick session that we ran. All right. So uh, everyone reconvenes. What what does it look like? And you're going to notice that I'm going to be sending it back to you a lot because I am I am here just really to facilitate what you guys want to do. You guys are the ones really driving this. Uh, it's not like you're going to there's going to be an old lady that's like, please help, help me get the rats out of the, the basement. No, it's like, OK. What would you guys like to do if you guys want to sit around? You, we could sit around, you know, whatever you guys. It's it's very character driven. Hmm. Well, I know me and Rope have things that need to be getting need to be uh bought back from the goblins. Um. So I know she would probably want to find a way uh to earn. Some silver uh, or gold. Uh, gold would be nice. Um, so she might throw out an idea of like maybe seeing uh, either heading to a town or maybe looking into if there's any like like treasure legends around here that's for something that they could sell. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, how would that look as far as in RP? Like, what what's happening as far as that? Hmm. Uh, and thank you, uh, Lyra, for that uh, reroll. Pretty much the way those work, uh, the players get to add an additional two die uh, to their skill one, the one that doesn't hurt them if they get a one. So, oh, cool. For a roll, they would get to add additional two points. So that is helpful. Uh, Halfier would be kind of out of habit. She would go to like, like grasp at the necklace, uh, and then feel it wasn't like there. Um, and so she would kind of like look to them and be like, maybe, what do you guys think in terms for, for bringing in some, some cash? Well, Hamzies, I think that sounds like a really good idea. Except, I don't know if you've seen it right now, but we're in the middle of the damn woods. <laughs> My thought exactly. So, thoughts like maybe we could um, have you? I don't like. I know. Uh, I've heard that like a lot of people who go out in the mist find like really cool things. Like maybe there's stuff that we can sell, um, or. Uh, but going out in the mist is a way to die. Well, not into the mist, but like after the mist clears, they like, oh, there's a thing here and they get it and take it out before the mist would come back, come back. But there hasn't been a mist ah. to my knowledge in the years. Rope has traveled extensively before and after the mist. That is why I follow him. Ooh. Not a pretty so have you... in there, but it's been gone. So have you found stuff, like, um, around? In, in terms of monetary value, uh, not all too much of it. Mm. I mean, sometimes you come across a dead body on the woods, and sometimes you just take what you need from them. But, uh... Okay, okay. Since I haven't found, dark. like, any treasure trove from some long-lost king from who knows where. Mm. Speaking of which... And like he looks right towards you, Mr. Thorn Price. Why are you here again? I, I mean, I know you brought the wine bottle, but what's your angle? Do you work for Vimos? What are you doing? It's very dangerous out there on your own. You seemed capable. Even in your Why? inebriation, I. Listen to the kernels of truth in your outlandish stories and thought you might be a good lot to hook up with. You think my stories are fake, Mr. Thorn Price? I think no, they I... had just the right amount of whiskey in them. 
Well, we drank wine, so I don't know who drank more. You started, Dorm, you started with wine. Yes. Deliciously fortified. <laughs> well, I mean, you look like you've got a big old backpack. Have you traveled a lot? Uh, I have. Uh, yes. Have. Sorry, can you repeat his name for me one more time? Merkel. Merkel. Thorn Price. Thorn Price. That's what I'm... okay. Merkel Thorn Price. To my friends, Merkel. <sighs> to those he can, who don't he considers know us friends. me super well, Mister Thorn Price. <laughs> okay. No, there are things out there, but finding them—that's the tricky part. And to go out looking mm -hmm. for them blind is a dangerous proposition. I, I might much like your idea of maybe finding a settlement or some people that we may be able to talk to, get the lay of the land, or at least dredge up some news that we might be able to use to get closer to what we might be seeking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we, uh, we, we've got some funds to that we'll need to scrounge up, so... Why nothing like the present to get started on that, um, but yeah, I, I'm leaning more towards the settlement idea myself since uh, I don't think I've heard anything at least in the nearby uh, from where from the, the 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 goblin group before. If we are seeking a town. And you came from this way, and we came from that way, and there seems to be a road over here, and. Is there any smoke on the? Can, is there any? Most likely, this direction would be a town thing that we um, could do. Scout. I am gonna say thing? that you've already. Yeah, the, I'm gonna say that you've uh, kind of scouted a bit already. And while you were looking around, uh, it, you're really in a forest, so it's okay. really difficult. Um, you would think maybe if you had a map, it probably would be maybe a great idea. But as far as like where you are, it's kind of you've been kind of just, you know, holding on to things. You, you, you've you kind of just been want you've been wandering without like a purpose un up until this point. So there's well, really no need for a map until now, I would say. And are the goblins still within a these journey negotiation like maybe? Like, could we go back to them, or are they? We'll yeah, have to so you go would, hunt. You would know that they are northwest, or northeast of you. Well, assuming that they deal with others the way they dealt with us, perhaps they would have a map on Hawk from another wanderer. We could give it a try. Um... I have. Uh, I sort of like checks in like his side of his jaw, and he pulls out like a coin. I have a coin I can contribute. I'd rather not go back to the goblins who, you know, robbed us and give them more money not to be used to pay for the things that I made. Well, well you've got to spend money to make money. I'm certain I was told that once. Are these Maybe. goblins different than the ones that I knew? Uh, you um would have... You would have had you would have um, recognized the name Vimos when they were talking about Vimos as being the leader. Vimos is not with us anymore, is he? Vimos is still around. They had mentioned that from what you remember. Um, actually, I would say this is a great time for you to give me a little bit of a lore roll. Let's go ahead and see. How much you remember from previous events? So, so lore one is your wits. plus four, but you said I roll two less now. Uh, uh, one less. So, or one less. What is your? What was your? I'm sorry. Uh, for your skills for wits, what what do you have? 
Uh, I have one in lore, so three plus one would be four, but then minus one okay. would be three. All right, so the way you do it is that uh, I'm going to show you right here. Uh, you want to roll two of your base die, and then you would, this is your skill die. You would roll uh, one down here. So go ahead and roll that, and then roll that. And the different colors are just telling you that that one down there doesn't mean anything. That if you'd like to push it, it's not gonna it's not gonna stay there. So it seems right now that you really it's hard. You remember the that name? Uh, would you like to push? Push it. Push it. Nice. Okay. So as you're thinking, you remember that you definitely heard that there was someone that you took care of and he had a big mouth, but you remember the goblins telling you that the leader was in another uh, inn up the road uh, meeting with a rust brother. They were sitting there kind of waiting. Okay. So these would be different goblins, but it sounds like Vimos, uh, whatever bad thing happened, he must still be out there. Right. Or these, these, this group was part of his band, is probably what you're kind of figuring out. Hmm. I've heard this name, Vimos. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm not super keen on making his acquaintance. Good. Because he's an asshole. You... You've met him. <laughs> oh, I've done more than just meet him. He took my peaches from me. Uh, peaches. Some my heart food. and soul. Yeah. Like my greatest and most loyal friend in my entire life. That oh. rat bastard took him from me. Oh. Oh, because we decided to go left. And me and my big fucking mouth. It's like, well, that's the right way to go. It seems real great. Nope. Good to see him in the helmet. It's too big. Well, hey, so that's good. good to see you. Well, if we don't wish to go and visit Vimos or the goblins, then we will need a town. I have some things that I could use to be rid of, but I don't know that I could sell them myself. I might be able to help you with that. I have uh, something to sell myself. Ah, and he'll sort of like search around and to produce like three little vials and two very shiny daggers. This is sleeping poison. I'm told it's worth some silver and these daggers I could use to be rid of them discreetly. And then he puts them back away. <laughs> yes. I have no further need of them, but if it would acquire some gold towards the restoration of peaches, then we could be on our way to somewhere more profitable. I think the main thing, too, is finding that place. Should we, or are we thinking, because it sounds like, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'd rather not see the uh, Vimos either. Um, maybe if we find, uh, like, a river, because usually places are built along rivers. Um... It's yes. a shot in the dark, but it's a likely option that we'd find something. Yes, if we head uh, downstream. Sundance Kid, I apologize. I was just no saying, uh, Sundance Kid gave you all another <gasps> additional uh, boon. We're so gonna we, live. They appreciate it. So if we head downhill till we find a stream, stream finds a river, river finds a settlement, eventually at least we would lead our way out of this forest. Mm -hmm. If we have enough coin, I have three copper to contribute to a map. So 
I find that pretty helpful indeed, if I do say so myself. Uh, but yeah, we yeah, can get a map. Usually, yeah, sorry. Usually the negotiations with one copper piece, and they have to really drive a hard barking you for two. It's a sound a strategy. <laughs> but it's getting a little late in the day. I'd rather not be traveling in the late evening. Perhaps we finished uh, looking for what we need in the area. Then pack up in the morning and go. I've got some vegetables for tonight. Yeah, that sounds good. So... It looks like we're in the morning, and I'm just looking at the quarter day thing. Yes. So, like, uh, yellow is... Really you are... It's daytime. Oh, it is daytime. Uh, okay. Six hours if you wanted to hike today. Uh, this would include you talking and planning and moving. Uh, as far as movement, uh, you can get... Uh, if it's uh, not difficult terrain, such as, like, plains or, uh, like, forest. Not heavy forest, but, like, light forest. You uh, you could actually move two hexes uh, if you hiked um, without any incident. Uh, on a horse, you'd be able to move three. Um... Yeah. <laughs> if only. I'm sorry. If only, yeah. <laughs> um, but, uh... hey, Jeff Bardi, uh, good to see you. Um, but as far as. Um, if you decided to move, it would take you to about evening to get to the next hex. If you are taking your time. Okay. What do you think? Should we uh, spend like another quarter day to find food, set up camp, like and rest, and then head out, or, um, or should we? Yeah. What do you think? Uh, stay, let's get what we can from the area. Perhaps I'll go on and look for some sort of river source or water to see if we can get somewhere, refill our water skins, and then head out in the morning. Okay. Unless you want me to go hunting. I'm pretty good at that. Have you any traps or snares? I have a bow. Ah. The mobile trap. That's one way of calling it, I guess, fluffers. I, I don't prefer them. Uh, oh, great! You should really try it sometime. Anyone seen any hawks or kites? Falcons? And he's just sort of been keeping his eye on the sky, but hasn't really spotted anything yet. I, if I could get a word in with one, they might point us in the right direction. If I see one, I'll let you know. Perhaps yes. you should try one of those fancy bird calls, and maybe they'll come to you. I could, but if I fetch a finch, they won't give us much information on what's further afloat. I need something with a good travel distance. Hmm. But if you should see uh, a raptor, do call it out. But not shoot it. If you think you can hit it, by all means, I'd rather eat. But they normally fly quite high. It's just why I'm asking. I don't know. Yes. Just like the Rust Brother, conversation was fine, but food was more important. Yes. I do not know about that one. Rust Brother? Uh, Taste of chicken. Oh, oh yeah, he was a really interesting fellow. Had like four sets of two sets of arms, like two here, two here. Oh, and like I could if, tell me if I had extra arms like that, I'd be one of the greatest uh, horsemen in the world. Yes. You got one hand for the reins, two hands to do whatever else you want with them. You'd be great. Yes, most humans you only get two wings. That one got three. Bonus. Wait, Just I'm sorry. Did you arms, say he had no one with extra fingers? So huh? he had extra fingers on the extra arm. I mean, that's yeah. Four plus a thumb. Did he okay. have um? Was it uh? Was it the mask he's wearing? Did it have like a uh? Did it have like one really long horn or no? 
I don't recall him wearing a mask, but the other one was wearing this thing, and like he'll knock his helmet. Two Rust Brothers. Shirt as well. Uh, <laughs> at least the guy he was with. Oh dear. <laughs> do do Rust Brothers normally wear masks, or was it just the ones where I lived? Uh, from what you can tell, uh, depends. This okay. one that you are familiar with, you've seen them without their mask. Oh, only okay. If they're wearing something, uh, so most of the time they'll have like a covering. Gotcha. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Mm. Interesting. All right. I guess, yeah. Um, well, I think maybe I'll maybe take another pass in this direction, see if I could find some food, since it sounds like we're thinking of hanging out here for another day before pushing off in the morning, so maybe find something to fuel us for the next day. Um, if anyone wants to help me out, I'll by all means, but she'll she'll start kind of kind of hiking her way in the opposite direction that initially that she and um, uh, Merkel took to uh, see if she can spot any additional vegetables or uh, berries, whatever. So I do accompany yep. you. I'm not quite satisfied with this morning's bounty. Hold oh. on. Give me your water skins. Oh, I'm going to oh. go try and find a water source. Sure. Oop. All right. So... It sounds like we have someone looking. Uh, I, did we hear what Fluffy is doing? Is he? What, is he? I think Fluffy's going to go back up the tree and try and spot a bird. Okay, that sounds good. We'll go ahead, and I think what we'll do first is we are going to uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at what Rope is doing. Uh, I believe you're going by yourself. So, um, and you, uh, you have kind of the weight of the water skins on your back. There's some a, a little bit heavier or not. Um, so what I'm going to say mechanically is at this point, um, if you're taking still all your gear with you, I would assume that you would be over encumbered, uh, the way this system, uh, over encumbrance is a thing. Uh, it kind of, I don't know, it, it's a mechanical thing that just just another thing that kind of kind of play on words but like you feel the weight of like your items that you're carrying so i will say to combat this i will leave the great helm and let's see what else can i get rid of my short bow and arrows back at camp okay sounds good uh just, just to so that you know what the weight just so that you know what the penalty would be if you had to do a move roll, uh, you would uh, you would have to um, every time you had to do something that had to do with like climbing or moving, you would have to do uh, a roll, and if you failed that roll, then you'd be taking points of damage and agility. All right, but it seems like you have done that, so you could go ahead and move on forward. You are looking, you are foraging, so I'm going to need a survival roll. You're f foraging for some water. Survival is just the three. Nice, safe, simple three. That's the chip. Bam. Nothing. <laughs> well, we can't have that stand now. There's got to be water somewhere in this here forest. I mean... What's so hard to drink a puddle, right? I'm going to push. Okay. <laughs> oh, eh, one success, one. one. Okay, so you are able to find a small stream. Uh, and you are... It's a small stream. You, you, you uh, kind of clearing in the, in the forest. And uh, just a small... Kind of stream, a few rocks, babbling brook kind of kind of situation. It's very peaceful there. But what, it seems that you pushed yourself. Um, and what happened kind of a bit to your wits as you're looking for this, this stream? 
Uh, I just imagine like he's getting down there, he's filling up the water, all the water skins, and then like maybe something like brushes against his shoulder, and like the small hope that his horse has come back to him. And it's like <gasps> peaches, and I realize it's just a branch floating in the wind, and then like he's just <laughs> <laughs> mentally drained from. The day. <laughs> oh. So then you. I'll get I'll get you soon, buddy. Don't worry. So mechanically, you're just a little bit more spent. So you could just click a point off of there, give yourself a willpower point, and you, uh, with water, you're able to fill up all of those water skins. Everyone is able to give themselves a D12 resource of water. Thank you, Roth. We are moving over. Uh, we are looking at half year. And okay. Mr. Thorn Price, you are both, it seems like, foraging a bit more. Uh, half year seems to be taking the lead. Give me a survival, please. Okay, so I don't have anything in survival, so it'd just be my wits and then the plus one in skills plus because. One? Yes. Okay. Wit. Wit. Hey, three successes. No, no ones. No ones. All right. That sounds great. Uh, you want to push to try to get more? So wait, like if I already succeeded, mm -hmm. is pushing just getting more to the success, or would it like yeah, replace you it? Try to, you've already found relatively easy. Uh, you and Mister Thorn Price have been uh, going and kind of focusing, not really talking too much, right? But really focusing on what's going on. Mm -hmm. uh, Feeling a little bit tired. You know, you've been looking for these things for a bit and you found a reward. Do you want to kind of stick it out? And... I mean, you know what? I'd, I'd be willing to push. We're going to be here another night. It's we're not going too far. So she's feeling lucky. Maybe. Yeah, maybe she'll she'll push just a little and push again. Why not to add more to the bounty? Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh oh. Uh, nothing. Uh, that's fine. So just remember that next time, push that push little icon because then it'll hold your success. Oh, gotcha. Also, you can okay. re roll that one, uh, that one skill die on the bottom as well. Oh, okay. Got oh, there is a push button. Okay. In the future, hit push. That's okay. Oh, all right. So four units, right? It's not the resource die, but it's four units of yummy, yummy, just. It's another Ooh. one of those just like giant, like I'm going to oh. say it's just like a giant mushroom that you found that you, look, that you could probably split into four. And it looks edible, right? Definitely. What are those called? Like the, the chicken of the forest or whatever, like them, like, like super meaty mushrooms. I forget what they're called, but there's like, there's like, a, like one of those mushrooms that are like super, like that are known for being very almost like meaty. Like, so that's what I'm kind of like picturing, picturing it as being like, look at this honking thing. And she's going to like show it. She's going to show it over to Merkel and be like, wow. oh, this yeah. is amazing. You know, I, I'm okay with just eating an onion. So I wasn't really too worried. I thought the one onion we could split between us all, but this will make them happy. Do you think you're you're you seem like you're a good cook. Do you like do you think you can do something cool with this? I I think so and hopefully Fluffy is finding us something in the skies that will add a little something else. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't believe that works. I'm still kind of feeling a little woo from from last night, so I feel good now. <laughs> <laughs> <Fluffy>. <laughs> Give me a scout. Give me a scout. Uh, good to be back down to my area here. Uh, scout's going to be five of them. Two of them. One of them. Get in mushrooms, boy. I uh, out, it's chicken of the woods. <laughs> one success. One success. And due to the potential damage to my beautiful telescope, we will not be pushing that roll. 
<laughs> oh, are you, you 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 roll that uh you use that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sounds good. Cool. One success. You do see a bird up in the sky and it looks a bit it it actually it looks like a hawk. Uh so having spotted the hawk, I will uh try to kind of get its attention and then I will try and use animal speech to ask it a question. All right, so I'm going to ask for you. You were able to see this hawk, right? Maybe mm-hmm. if you would have had a little bit more um success on that scouting, you might have been able to really like maybe even have got its attention like kind of you're able to use your mm-hmm. but I'm going to ask for an animal handling uh, check to see if you're able to do that really cool call, you know. <laughs> call. <laughs> I don't said it to... Call. Uh, that's just going to be three stat dice. Uh huh. Nothing else. <laughs> call. Call. Two successes. Yes. Uh, it, it it stops. It hears you. And it, you know, comes back and it, it not only like it not only like s- circles around, but it actually stops like in your camp on, on the ground and sits there and kind of looks up at you kind of in the tree. And I wondering what's going on. So I'll, I'll stay up in the tree so as not to startle it off as I start to work my magic. And what I'll do is kind of open my my jaws again. And this time when I go to do the cacao, it comes out pitch perfect hawk language. And uh, I am asking it, uh, uh, in your flight, uh, have you noticed man's civilization and where? No, got to make it one question. In what direction is the closest man's village? All right. So, um, First, you are using a will PowerPoint. I am burning one will PowerPoint. Go ahead and roll that uh, a d6, please. Roll one d6. We're going to roll the red one that feels lucky. Please, no one. A four. All right. So you are able to ask it with one. Uh, it is successful, right? Yep. So you Success. ask one question. One question. In right. which direction is the nearest man's village? Um, it will look at you man man's village one moment as <laughs> i refer to the sky it will um man walkers and it will point its beak kind of looking towards the north. It's looking towards the northwest. And I'll uh, I'll cut a mark in whatever's nearest to me in the direction that it's looking so that I have a, a mark set, hop down, transfer that to the ground. Um, and uh, uh, I mean, it's right there. Kadonk? <laughs> Are you are you gonna try to kill? Are you just give it a little gadunk after I get down? Okay. Um, it's, it's food. Sure. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, do a little. What are you using to try to gadunk it? Uh, I think my staff is the only thing that I keep out, so it'd be just a, as I land. If it doesn't take off before I get within arm's reach, give it a gadunk. I'm going to say that with that animal handling, that it mm-hmm. will stand there and kind of look at you confused and surprised as you're moving up to it. A bit kind of friendly and happy. Just like and the chickens on the monkey. farm. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. All right. So what I'm going to say is this is we're going to actually roll to see if, you know, what happens. OK, so your fast action, because the way combat works is it's broken into fast actions and slow actions Mm -hmm. fast action you are drawing your staff Mm -hmm. your slow action you are bonking it on the head yep all right so go ahead and roll a melee please roll a melee uh strength of four 
Get out of my way. Strength of four. It's horrible. Bird was so helpful to you. <laughs> Gave you all the information you needed. And the most druid response you have is, <laughs> I'm going to kill it. I do. Thank you for your assistance. You've been very helpful. Hey, yeah, you used to provide for me at many with. levels. Information, your food. nutrition. <laughs> Uh, one success. One success. Uh, will... You go to bonk it. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to make us roll initiative. And you hear a crack, a bit of blood, and it falls to the floor. Witches. And then it's all Her yours. Pulling feathers off. Set the set feathers aside for fletching. <laughs> Every uh, I'm gonna say everyone is returning at this point. <laughs> you just see Fluffy sitting there, like feathers going everywhere. Like he sets aside the ones that are, you know, uh, what are they pinions or whatever that you use for arrows and stuff. But all the rest, he's just prepping. Like sniffing the mushroom. We're going to be able to make oh. such a stew. <laughs> All right. Get your water. Here you go. Ooh. Here you go. Here you go. Look what I found. <laughs> she's going to she's gonna hold out the. <laughs> oh, is that the. And he gives a very like scientific explanation for the herb. <laughs> what is it called? What is he calling it? Lyonis Meridius. It's a fantastic vegetable. Great for searing, actually. You know, I've seen some people use this as an alternative for, like, steak. We just always called it, like, wood chicken. Ah, uh, I That's caught some stupid. sky chicken. Hey! <laughs> I have an onion. <laughs> chop, chop, chop. Ooh! That's a good one. <laughs> All right. uh, so, I was also able to ascertain the nearest human settlement is in that direction, or at least ooh. the nearest human group of men walking. Well, this From has that been thing? a productive day. <laughs> it has been yes. productive. Hawks are useful in many ways. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say that, yes, I'm going to say that you have a unit of meat. It will be raw meat, but you have a unit of meat. Here, goblin. Make. Well, let's get the fire going. All right. At this point, it is beginning to get a bit dark, and you're sitting around the fire. No need to make a camp. It's already been made from last night, and uh, it looks like you are beginning to prepare this meal. Now, the way, and like I said, the mechanic works is that if one of you was a chef, then you'd be able to try to, you know, make the, these units of food and try to convert them into uh, an extra a die up on the die train, train as far as your food. Because it isn't, it's really just a unit of food. Food, raw meat, veggies, it's gonna have a shelf life of about a day. So if you don't mm -hmm. need it in a day, then it goes bad. All right. So it seems that we have, uh, if I'm not wrong, uh, I'm going to say that you all have enough for tonight. All right. So cool. you go ahead and begin to, what does it look like that? What does this uh, dinner look like as uh, the sun is beginning to kind of set? It's beginning to get a bit dark. Is it reasonable that I have like a little cook pot? I'm going to say that you have a small personal kind of in your thing. I'm going to say you have a small, maybe personal cook pot. You know what? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say that you've been really just cooking like that. You, you haven't really, there's only so much that you could carry. You have your, oh, you remember that you do have a donkey mm -hmm. with you? <laughs> 
but you you don't have a quick pot. You've never really had a need for hmm. it. That helmet of yours, it's in working order. Listen, I've already been robbed by a one goblin. Ain't gonna happen again there. No, no, no. I just simply want to borrow it for. Yeah, that's the also evening. what they said. That's also what they said to me about peaches. You know where it got me? I, it Six sounds like it's a sore subject. Without my best friend. Thank you for reminding me. If you really need a helmet, there you go. Here, have uh, it. Uh, all right, then. Well, once you eat this food tonight, you're going to be feeling a lot better. He's gonna I'll go clean off to, it like, before the... I give it back to you. Don't worry about that. He's going to just go off and start, like, rage, just chopping firewood. Oh. It looks like my spyglass like... isn't the only thing broken around here. <laughs> and I, I have a hand axe. You're that wood like you're using, like, a... You don't have an I axe, have a, do you? I have, I have a hand axe. Okay, all right. Well, then, yes, you'll be using that axe. Very good. Okay, sounds good. Fill the helmet up with water, get that boil in, and use it as a makeshift right. pot. Sounds good. Uh, you go ahead and serve that. You all kind of are sitting around the fire. A uh, lot of wood right there, you know, branches and pieces, nothing too substantial that you could really make anything out of, but it's good firewood. Um, and you are able to have yourselves a nice meal. Probably not the best, like, well-seasoned and whatnot, but it's, it's, it's food. It's filling. Now, what I'm going to ask from all of you, it's evening time. Throughout the day, you've been drinking some water. You did get your um, dice back up to D12. But what I'm going to ask is around, I'm going to ask during uh, evening to night time, that, that is when I'll be asking you to roll your resource dice for your water and your food. Uh, is there anything else that you would like to do this evening? Let's check the options of what we could do. Beyond this, I'm curious, what do you all intend to do after we've obtained peaches and can travel further? You know, I've more or less been living one day at a time. Now, I have a goal to get to. And that's all I'm focused on. I'm looking for someone. Anyone in particular? I would think so. Maybe multiple people. But at the very least, probably one. They, uh... Uh... They left a very unpleasant gift uh, at my home, and I would like to talk a talk about it with them. Your description uh, of these well, people that you're looking for, it only makes me want to learn more. Uh, what did they leave? Do you leave like a sparrow on your doorstep? What, what do they do? That's a sign of affection. Oh no. Uh would you you wanna know the, what they left behind? I mean you're the one that brought it up in conversation. I'm mainly prying for details. Hey, you asked what we were looking for and I said I'm looking for, for a person. I yeah, think I... and you said the person said they left something for you. You have questions for it. You can't just leave that on a statement like that without follow up questions. Uh, well, uh, this individual or individuals, uh, uh, visited my home while I was not there, uh, and then murdered my elderly mother, uh, by skinning her seemingly alive and left her on the floor in a ritualistic circle. Yeah, that sounds like the work of us brothers, if you ask me. That's my only hint so far, uh, and the only thing left I had of her, uh, was the necklace that the goblins took. So, I would like to get that back, so I could figure out who murdered my mother. 
you have any idea what they look like in native capacity of who, you know, took it to your poor elderly mother? Because, you know, about a few days back, not too long ago, we encountered some fellas who were part of the Rust Brothers, and they also had a skinning kit. I don't know if it was used or not. I could definitely show you where it was, but it's on peaches right now, so I can't get it. So we, you we all will, have vendettas we, we both with back. the goblins and with the Rust Brothers. Oh, you oh, have no, vendettas with brother. both. Oh, I don't have any vendetta with the Rust Brothers. The, those two are dead. Gotcha. One got uh, slit and one got burned alive. I sure know how to choose him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I I'm, see. Because you were... I'm more... That makes sense. Personally impressed with how understated her story began. It was something unpleasant left on her doorstep, and that escalated directly to grandmother skinned alive. No, no, my mother. Mother, excuse me. Mother skinned alive. Even worse, perhaps. Um, will you always be talking that way? If you say you're feeling unwell, does that mean you have the plague? Uh, no. Uh, I just found that usually when... I tell people um, that the those details they don't they look as you did uh, very uncomfortable. So I usually say that there was a very unpleasant gift, uh, and I would like to return the favor. You want to skin them alive and put them in a circle? Mm, I mean, it is an option. I haven't thought about exactly what I would do. Um, there's certainly various ways that I could handle it. That could be one, because it is a very, you know, eye for an eye type of deal. Uh, but honestly, it depends on what the situation calls for. Like, I mean, you never know what the world's going to throw at you. True. It is surprisingly yeah. difficult to incapacitate those who can plead for their lives. Yeah. <laughs> you have well, experience. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we absolutely do. And if it was those two poor bastards that we axed on the road not too long ago, were the one unfortunate bastards who killed your mother, well, I'm sorry to have stolen your vengeance. We did burn one to death. It's not quite skinning, but the skin did flake off. You know, I, in some, in some very, 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 very deep part of me, that does make me feel a little better. Um... But, you know, I, I just don't have those answers yet. And hopefully once I get that necklace back, it can start in, encouraging some really great Socratic seminars with some other Rust Brothers. I think we could figure out what happened to her. Or I could figure out what happened to her. I shouldn't assume you guys will follow me. Because that would be silly. But I wouldn't mind the help. You guys are kind of fun to talk to. You're not kind of, you're not walking away after telling you what I just told you, so... That that makes me feel better. Am I rambling too much? Tell me if I'm rambling too much. <laughs> oh, you're fine. I mean, I talk to this schmuck almost on the entire day basis. It's better to have someone else talk from time to time. He's referring to me, isn't he? <laughs> oh, that, oh, that's right <laughs> fluffers. You know it. <laughs> Thought it might have been Peaches. He always says he talks to Peaches more than me. It is also very true, but not up late. But <laughs> I only wish to find those who can tutor me more in the druidic arts. I want to be better in touch with nature. That doesn't She's gonna uh, mean that isn't a double meaning for slaughter or murder or vengeance, is it? Like show your no. wild side. Is that how you described it? I. I have found it easier to get along with the woods than my own kin. So, I wish to be able to leave them behind, but... And he sort of just, like, shrugs, and you can see, like, the longsword, the dagger, the staff, and everything kind of bouncing. I carry too much. I need to be more efficient. Well, uh... He's no peaches, I'm sure, but I do have Bray, my donkey. If you are needing to lighten up your load, you're free to keep anything you like on him. I can carry it for now, but unless needed, 
I'd rather trade this poison and daggers. But if we are encountering those who need to go to sleep, it can be administered. You know, you always say this part of it. Is it like the permanent sleep or just like a knockout? The big sleep. First uh, one, then the other. See, and the you were worried about sleep. me talking like that. See, the Fluffy also talks like that. We're not what? that different, you and I. <laughs> When you put the dagger in, it puts them to the little sleep. If you pull it out the right way. Oh yeah, you did a, you did a great job of doing that to that poor Skinner guy. Yes, I did feel bad about that momentarily. <laughs> Normally, I feel like the outlier because I'm a goblin. Today, you have found a different way to make me feel on the outs. <laughs> <How's that? laughs> okay. Well, what is it that you should wish for then, uh, uh, Mr. Thorn Price? I am more looking to avoid those that have wronged me or wish ill of me. A uh, different tactic, I suppose. We can help if things go south. We're, uh, no, we're do like, not we're... go south. We're we're the plan B. Oh, okay. Wait, what's south? <laughs> yeah, what's south? I can't rightly say, but I have <laughs> bad feelings of the last settlement I was at. Oh, oh, like I can't be like, oh, I don't feel like talking about that, but he can. <laughs> well, in my case, it is mostly because I lack details because I'm a coward. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I, I that I understand. A, group of goblins myself in the last settlement that I was at and oh Rust Brothers a plenty there it would seem that they are commissioning the goblins to go and hunt a witch mm-hmm. by the time hey, what would... I made my way out of town it would seem that Perhaps the witch, or I don't know, but something made the first move. I left, hearing only the howling and screaming of some terrible atrocity. I'm not eager to go back and find out. Do you have any recollection what direction that would be? Would it be that way? And he points points the way that the hawk had pointed? (laughs) Uh, he, he, you would remember clearly that it was south. Okay. Is the hawk pointed south? The hawk is hawk pointed, pointed northwest. Northwest, right. I like he your hawk's instincts. <laughs> yes. And as we get done, Fluffy's tying like the prettiest of the hawk feathers to his staff at the top. Oh, those are lovely. I like the pattering, patter, patterning on the on the ends. Yes, I hope that will make the staff swing faster. Oh, Phil, did you ever fix that staff? It looks a little uh, burnt still. It's still good. Dunk, dunk, dunk. The charm is a grip. I'm just saying, maintaining equipment's a very important aspect to staying alive out here. Yes, I carved down where my hands go. And you can see there's basically, it looks like, you know, charred corn cobby going down the outside to where it gets where his hands would be. And then there's kind of carved in and then charred corn cobby plus little feathers. Oh, come on now. You know, better than that. You see here, like, he's going to go like to like a mentor type deal. Like, if you got to do this part of it, you got to at least get this part organized. Or if he strikes something, it's going to shatter. No, it's fire hardened. I've yeah, heard of no, that. No, no, no. It... It's yeah, things can be fire hard, but mostly that's steel. It seems I'm, fine, gong gong gong. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, Xena would not like you. <laughs> Have you much skill in woodcrafting? Um, I did great with this helmet, so I'd say I'm a pretty decent enough folk to pick something up. I feel if you can't tell the difference between a steel helmet and a wooden staff, perhaps. 
<laughs> you ought hey, to not be giving instruction. Hey, now. <laughs> Ooh, D12. All right, so I'm giving you all a D12. Ooh. Oh, and what's this for? Is to roll it. What if you get a one or two, then you are, while you're, if you get a one or two, that means that you uh, have to go down a resource in water. I am oh. going down a resource in a water, I think. A D10 now. Okay, that was a Do I exude more water than I drink, making my not. water it's, at 1D20? Unfortunately, it just means it's, it's a success. You've been able. The thing is, is that you've been able to take your time with the water throughout the day. You've rationed it well. I oh. am good on water. I want you all Thank to keep that D12. Oh. It's a gift from me. Wow. Oh, thank you. Well, you're welcome. You're I'm so going to need a D10 soon. It can, <laughs> sit, it can sit right over here next to Peaches. Peaches will that, this D12. Does that, does that mean I should get a D6? Uh, for the No, because we, we had the food that we foraged. Mm -hmm. okay, you're all right. good with that. Okay. Um, if there's nothing else that you are doing as far as the evening... Then, uh, anything else? No. Night approaches. Keeping watch. Yes. Wait, we should determine a watch order this time. Right. Someone so should stay you, awake. If you feel, yes, if you feel like someone should have slept, is like would be going to sleep during the evening. That's you're more than welcome to do that. So would someone like to have like hit the hay right now? I heard goblins awake. can see in the dark. Is that true? It, yes, it is. Perhaps you should sleep during the light and we will sleep during the night. This makes sense. That sounds wonderful. All right. Good, good. So... And then with like huge, full belly, <laughs> just curls up, <laughs> snores. <laughs> All right, so uh, during the night, uh, you keep watch. Um, roll me, Alex, a d6, please. Okay. Four. Uh, very, it's a quiet night tonight. That Morning is comes. how I like them. <laughs> Morning comes. It is the next day. I'm going to ask one of you, uh, I'm going to take care of it today, but I'm going to begin to ask one of you to start keeping track of the date and the quarter day. Uh oh. Nope. Hang on. Control Z. I got it. Don't worry. We're it's at okay. Spring Rise the 4th, 1162. Fine. It's morning time. What would you all? So, for my account, do? for my accounting of Perfect. the day quarters, it is there's daytime, there's morning, there's daily, and there's night. Just past yes. night, which is the fourth quarter, correct? Yes. Now we're at daytime. Uh, you are at morning. Then daytime, then evening, then night. Morning is oh. dawn. Okay. Evening is dusk. But it's, yeah, right good. now the sun is out. It's spring. Sun is out during the morning. Shall we get on the road? Well, it's a forest, but yes. That sounds good. How are we all doing? Want to keep on going, or shall we take a quick five minute? I'm good. Uh, I think I'm good. Sounds good. All right. Yeah. Excellent, because I'm excited. <laughs> Sounds like the group is looking to hike. Let's hike. All right. So the way this works, you all pack up your things. You have Bray kind of sat. Well kind of roped up 
ready to go. Um, and it is ready. You're ready to start moving. I'm going to ask for someone to tell me the direction they'd like to move first. Northwest. Excellent. Now I'm going to need, there's two rules that need to be met. If you'd like, if you'd like, you need someone to lead the way. This is the pathfinder. If you had pathfinder uh, talent, this would help you out a bit. And what they do is they are exactly what it sounds like. You are finding a path through the forest. You are leading your the group in a direction, in a safe uh, path, hopefully. What this uh, entails is it is a survival check. So I'm going to let you all talk amongst each other. Um, oh, one more thing before we continue. Everyone, go ahead and reset any lost uh, skills. When you sleep or rest, you're able to get those skills back. Will PowerPoints do not reset. You get to keep those. And those stay between sessions, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. You, you got to rank them up. You could just bank them. Bank, 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 bank. Bank those babies. I can either lead the way or keep watch. I am capable at both. And the second skill is keep watch which is a scout role uh i don't have pathfinder talk about like you could go ahead and mechanically figure out who's best right okay now, since you um one of you will have to carry most of the burdens who has the greatest endurance <laughs> which my orcish there... friend you look strong <laughs> there's a survival check and what was it, the scout what, what is Scouting. that Scouting is keeping watch. This is making while the while someone is oh I see it. okay right while someone is making sure trying to find a safe path. The other person is making sure nothing jumps up out after you. The one I'm best at would be survival. I would have four. Uh, my scouting would be my circumstance with a four, but I'd have to remove my helmet because if my helmet's on, it's a minus one. Uh, I have zero in both, but I have four wits. Hmm, okay. I can certainly scout. I have a sixth sense about these things, and I always know what the <laughs> gods want anyway. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Sounds good. So it sounds like we have Fluffy uh, keeping watch. Mm -hmm. And who is deciding to lead the way? I could do the survival. Okay. So give me a survival check and a scout check. Uh, survival from Mr. Thorn Price and a keep watch from Fluffy. And can I apply my pride, which is sense a natural phenomenon before anyone else, as I am yes. scouting ahead? You can and that is a D12, D12, and I want a high even number? You want anything? Yes, high even. Six is a success. Eight is two success. Ten is three. Twelve is four success. Got it. Can so I roll that one. After the roll, can I use one of the player boons to put two more dice in the pool? Help. Uh, I'm going to say you are able to, uh, into the skill, into your skill. If you say it beforehand, then you get to do that additional one. But if you forget and you want to do it, then you'll just get that put that push if you want to do it. So, so whether or not, if you see your roll after, then you get to, you get to add it after if you'd like. So just roll two more dice. Sure, and remember that the, the colors matter. Um, the red are where you're going to add that ad the additional two die uh, because those are the ones that you don't... Um, if you have to push again, the ones don't penalize you. They'll re-roll. Okay, just remember there was a one here. Okay. All right, so first we're going to... I'm going to ask... Uh, lead the way. What any all successes? 
Do you have a success? One success. Okay, excellent. Uh, and um, scouting. Any successes? scouting? Total of three. Two from the dice, one from the pride. All right, excellent. Now that pride die is important. You want to, anytime you want to use it, you can, but it's once per session. Okay. okay. Mechanically, you get a little extra XP if you activate it. So keep that in mind. Don't forget. Ah, the gods smile upon us this day. <laughs> All right, so you are moving forward. And you come to an opening. The forest parts, and you find yourself on a plane. Wee! I'm going to need one of you to roll me 2d6, please, and give me that roll. Uh, 66, please. Sure. Um, which one of these packs? In the future, is... I might be doing these, uh, maybe this oh. roll, but I want just so you all to see kind of mechanically how this works. And 2d6. Jen, I would say roll them two different colors. That way they don't oh, resort yeah. themselves. That's true. Whip. And okay, yeah, just so, read it left to left to right. Okay, so 31. 31. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun, dun, dun is dun. right. All right. Um, as uh, you move through these planes, it is uh, the wind uh, picks up slightly. It is a bit cooler out here. Um, maybe you're, you know, starting to kind of tuck whatever warmth you have uh, as the wind kind of hits you. But uh, other than that, it seems that it is a uh, very nice, kind of nice day. Um, now, because this is, because this terrain is not difficult, uh, it's still um morning time would you like to try to move forward into another hex would you like to continue hiking or would you like to kind of explore this area would you like to stop what would you like to do still got about half of a quarter day left so like we would like if we wanted to explore we could still do that within our within our quarter day mm -hmm. or yes oh I mean, that could be good, considering, like, like uh, the hawk told us that it was just in this direction. Like, we don't necessarily know where specifically in this direction, at least from what I, what was relayed back, so. Correct. Had I asked for more, there was a greater chance of demon. <laughs> what? Oh. Is that, huh? Yes, that's why I seek a tutor, so there's lesser chance of demon. You could just summon a demon by talking to a bird? I can summon a demon even... by moving quietly. I could summon a demon, you... right? Would you like to see a demon? No. That sounds, that sounds really cool. That sounds amazing. Let's it's, have a look it's around. It's less exciting than you might think. <laughs> I'm following I'm follow him. <laughs> Uh, sounds good. So I'd, I'd say we should look around because we have no idea where the heck this place is. And we're already here. All right. So it sounds like you are just going to explore this hex here. Uh, uh, yes. All right. Um, you have a uh, pretty good uh, lead the way. And the it seems that you also have. You're, I'm going to still count this for the rest of this quarter day as far as like you being able to kind of see uh, out. Um, as you explore, um, let's see one moment. You are, you've um, maybe come across like these planes uh before uh though 
I'm I'm not sure if you've all really they they look unfamiliar to to all of you. Um, one moment, going through my books. There's one thing I like. A featureless flat expanse. I've seen this before. Uh huh. This looks, be <laughs> this looks beautiful. It it truly is. It truly is. This is the sort of land that makes you want to ride a horse. Look at, oh, <laughs> look as the grass blows in the wind. As you're running past, you can just drag your hand across the fields. It's a rolling sea on land. Hey, ah, what a text. better place to be. What do you think, Mr. Thorn Price? Isn't this just magnificent? Hmm. Wide expanse leading to who knows where. It is much different than where I grew up. It's it's nice seeing all these like different places. Change of pace every day. You know, we could stick to the edge of the forest as we go around the plains. Uh, no reason fine. to go out into the open area entirely. So exposed. So there? exposed that you see in the distance, you see a large tree. Oh, that looks nice. And just on the, the, the wind is just carrying it slightly. You hear the sound of of flute just blowing in the air. Hmm. I think someone misunderstood the term plain. There shouldn't be a tree there. It's unnatural. <laughs> what what is it instead of a plane then is it because it's not a forest there's only one tree unless this is part of the forest and it's just a really big break in the forest but how many trees does it take to make a forest what difference does know. it make don't you hear that sound <laughs> that's gonna be my next question how many trees how many trees do you know that sing <laughs> what I mean, I once heard of someone you can paint with all the colors of the wind. Maybe it's similar similar to that. I'm kind of curious. I, I wouldn't mind. Like, is it like very pleasant or is it like toot, 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 like. No, oh, it's it's beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. What, whatever you think beautiful sounds like. Toot, 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 toot. Sounds like a pleasant flute now. It's <laughs> no, like Venice did that. that. That's not the pleasant food. She's saying, like, does it sound better than do 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 do? <laughs> Maybe I have a low bar for flautists. Um... Is that yeah. how you like music? Just do do do. No, no. I'm just. I... I I've heard some really good flute music, and you know, just uh -huh. make it sure. Mm -hmm. I, right, I've right. heard stories of those who play flutes in open tree areas like this before maybe does this world have lure lore on satyrs fawns etc give me a roll uh a lore check please trying to figure that out uh sure um lore you say oh, at least i get to roll five days um badook I have one success and one failure. I really would like to know what's going on with the flautist tree, though, so I am going to push this. And turn that into two successes and two failures. Okay. So uh, you are thinking, and explain to me what is happening that you're, it's, you're thinking, and whatever, you're going to get the answer. But what's so happening I, in your head that you're... So I think what it is, is I, I'd, I'd like to know what's out there. But there's so much open space between here and there. And like, as he's sort of like pacing back and forth and he's talking, you know, it could be this or it could be that. But is it really worth exposing ourselves to such an open air? And he's kind of fretting about being so... That's a long distance between trees. Unnecessary. We maybe go find a flute playing tree that's a little closer to the forest edge um and i think that's what's really preying on his mind is he just doesn't want to be 
out in the open. Okay. So you're a bit, maybe a bit more agitated. Yeah. <laughs> so you're really thinking about this. All right. So you're going to be taking two uh, temporary damage to your wits. Um, but with two, you get two willpower points. Yep. But with, um, as far as lore, your teacher, uh, would tell you to always keep an eye out for demons. Anything in this world that is unnatural has a very likelihood of it being a demon. You also I... have heard of humans or humanoid creatures that enjoy playing instruments as well. Well, after intense <laughs> thinking in my brain thing, I've deduced that it could either be a demon or a child. 50-50 split. Possibly a shepherd or a monstrosity. I'm, I'm, I'm taking my chance. Or, I'm leaning towards the child, maybe someone, maybe an adult. Probably not a teenager, though. But what about the teenage monster? Well, that'd be interesting. Let's find out. Yes, let's <sighs> find out. Through the plains! Oh, they're so open. <laughs> don't don't, don't so you be, don't you have a, a, a an eyepiece? Don't you have a, a a thing to like look? Can't you like find out beforehand? <laughs> <laughs> and he just like looks through. It's a tree. It's very dense. <laughs> but if you'd like to look, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. That that might help. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a plus uh, two to this roll for your okay. stealth since you've already been keeping a lookout and you know keep the ball rolling you get a plus two to whatever okay. else bonuses you get all right so two for there two for there uh so that'll actually be three there three there got it clear roll 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 your boat uh two successes and I don't want to push this because of my fragile, fragile spy scope. So two successes. Sounds good. Uh, you are you see uh, actually two creatures leaning up against this tree. Uh, one is playing a flute, and the other one looks to be patting on maybe a drum. Uh, they look to be swaying back and forth in rhythm. Uh, one stops and laughs a bit. Uh, and they kind of talk a bit. And then they start playing again. I see two figures completely indistinguishable from either demons or small children. But they one is playing a flute. Humanoid. They look very <laughs> humanoid. <laughs> they seem humanoid, which I suppose humans. Well, that's what they want you to think. <laughs> yes, I'm actually not particularly versed in detection of demons. They do look unusual, don't they? I can't see them that far away. No, I mean yeah. demons in general. I mean, sometimes I... they got three arms. I've never seen a demon, so I... One, two, one, two. No, they, they both have two. Otherwise, I think the one with the drums would be much better. <laughs> If we go up and engage them in conversation, you're not going to lead with, are you a demon? No, I normally remain quiet for the first part of the conversation. That's good. Thank you. Would you like me to menace? I can menace a bit. Uh, medium menace as we medium approach. Medium menace. Medium menace, medium menace. So we, like... Puts the long <laughs> 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 the daggers. 
average menace. Do you want me to like just ask where a settlement is? Just talk is they... the way you normally do. It's menacing enough. I, I, what? <laughs> he's complimenting you, is what he's saying. Oh, thank you. So he just kind of puts the daggers away and has his stick with the little hawk feathers. Vague mentions of your backstory should work. Backstory. Unpleasant gifts. Let's Unpleasant go. Unpleasant gifts, yes. <laughs> Unpleasant <laughs> gifts. It sounds like you are moving forward. Um, I would like to. Okay. You're in the plains. Uh, is there any... I didn't hear any sneakiness, but I will ask. Is there going to be any sneakiness going on here? Not Fluffy will me. pull up his big hood, but other than that, no sneakiness. Mm, seeing others, I mean, I don't feel a reason to be sneaky at the moment, so no. Stealth donkey. Yeah, I'll okay. just walk up. Uh, you would get closer, uh, and the playing would stop as they kind of look. Uh, you you could see this as they both like look at each other, and then they look back at you. And they look at each other, and they the guy starts playing his drums, and one gets up and like clinks his heels, and they all start like moving in your direction, both of them, kind of like sauntering oh, over, no. and one's still playing the drums, kind of looking. Oh, uh, As oh they're, closer, they're bringing the menace. <laughs> oh no! Run! Run! That tune is somewhat catchy. <laughs> this went from not so bad to wildly uncomfortable. <laughs> my, my god, the extroverts are on their way. <laughs> retreat, retreat. They're like almost galloping, and you hear like giggling and stuff as they're like, ooh. Are they like. They move up, and you see as they get closer, you see very sharp, angular features. And a, a very pointy. <laughs> 20 ears. Okay, Elf. she went from being very scared to also almost being a little bit of excited because she hasn't met an elf yet. <laughs> She's like, oh. They're still so weird, but <laughs> this is exciting. My master was never that excited to see me. <laughs> and they're like galloping and they both stop. Is that? What? That is a goblin. Yes, Agate. It is a goblin. Yes, oh. it is. And right is that a wolf with a bucket on his head? It is Agate. It is a no, not a wolf. An orc. An orc with a goblin. Is that? And they're like they're they're talking like you could hear them talking about you. And is that? I don't know what that is. But, oh, it's our halfkin. How odd. And they're traveling together, Agate? Yes, they are traveling together. Should we talk to them? Um, yes, you should. I, Maybe best they avoid us. They want, to, they want to talk to us. Yes, Agate. Uh, Maybe for a I minute. Think we should approach. We are approaching. Do not fear. Agate and I Doing are approaching. Best. Fluffy looks a little bit confused. He like looks behind himself to make sure his tail is still there, and he ends up spinning in a circle twice, checking on his own tail because like big snout, Ew. big ears, big tail. He's like, how did they not know what I was? <laughs> what is that a wolfkin? No, <laughs> I'm confused. Yes, Agate, it is a wolfkin. Wow, I've never spoken. At least I don't remember ever speaking to a wolfkin before. Wow, Agate, we should probably talk to them. Yes. Hello, we are approaching. It is so wonderful. So wonderful to meet you all. Look at you all. Wow. Just so simple and beautiful. Simple. Thank you. Agate, not simple. That is not the word. Uh, 
interesting, complex. He's looking at his notes. Beautiful, wonderful tusks. He kind of points out to the to I look only one tusk. Wow. Wow, and I thought I was the brains of the operation here. You take a lot of notes. And then, as they have like, they have, like have notes as they're looking. Hmm. I think this one is asking us if we take notes, Agate. Ah. Yes. You are very smart. We do. Have you ever been to a place called Mootwater? Agate, have we been to a place called Mootwater? Uh, possibly. What, uh, Agate, you went there. Possibly. They all seem so similar in every way. When I was there, they had mentioned about an elf who'd came to visit and was asking them so many questions and sounded so interested in what they were doing. They were the talk of the town. And Agate, you seem you. you seem like people who would be the talk of the town, but it was only one of you, not two. If it was you. Uh, Agate, have I ever left your side? Yes, you have. Oh, that must have been me. How long ago was this? Have we met before? What is your name? Tell me. You are a, a frail. No, are you? You are Elvin Spring. Yes. Can, uh, out of character. Can you tell me what that means? Because I'm not sure I know what it means. Elvin Spring, you said? Mm -hmm. I, I don't think you, unless you want to make a roll check. Or, I'm sorry, a roll. A lore check. I don't think you would know what that means. Uh, oh, OK, and you could choose not to know. It's up to you. Uh, it was mainly a human village, so probably not. I wasn't sure if that was something I should know. OK, mm -hmm. um, she's going to be like, uh, I couldn't tell you. There was no elves in my village. My dad was an elf, clearly, uh, or my parent was an elf. My dad was an elf, uh, but he left when I was itty bitty. So don't know much about him. This sounds yes. Heard this before. We might, we must have met. Oh, this is common, apparently. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absentee oh, fathers, no. okay. Hellgate, <laughs> ask about how she feels about this. Oh, I'm sorry. You, does it hurt? Does it hurt that Not your really. father is no longer? Oh, no. No. Although, sorry, I'm getting really distracted. I just got very excited uh, when I saw your notebooks. Uh, we are very excited to meet you and all of wow. you. Wow. I feel like this is like validating my character personality choice. <laughs> <laughs> um, we, and she's going to gesture to. Um, uh, the rest of the party. We are trying to find uh, the nearest safe settlement uh, where we could find a map. We heard from a bird that it is in the northwesterly direction. And you seem to be well-versed travelers. Are we headed in a good direction? Uh, as you're doing this, uh, you would hear the one that they keep on calling Algate, he's the one kind of directly looking at you. Mm -hmm. And he's, you could hear him saying, asking where they are going. And he, oh, that is quite, Northwest wants to know about the Northwest. And the other one begins to kind of step and while you're talking, he begins to like, kind of grab your ear and kind of pinch it and kind of goes over and like goes over to the, to uh, you, Fluffy. And he goes to try to get the, he like grabs like under the cloak and like pulls it up and like starts like pulling on your tail. And like, almost oh. like he's measuring how long your tail is. I am going to bite you. Jot that down. Wants, wants to, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Wants to bite if you grab no. tail. I am going to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's just 
Like, <laughs> oh, oh shit. We need answers. Fluffy. <laughs> hey, Why, you God? Have, you have to make sure to ask if it's okay to pet your wolfkin. Uh, okay. It seems like you want to bite them. Uh, yeah, so he is, like, I'm, I'm assuming not... he's still like holding on to my tail, so I'm just gonna uh -huh. bite his arm while he's holding my tail. All right, sounds good. I'm gonna do you and I. Is anyone else wanting to do anything in this? Nope. I'm Probably gonna not. Oh, we're gonna all try this out just because. Okay. It's a, it's an opportunity to try it out. I'm gonna go ahead and give you all an initiative card. Oh, you get to do the cards. I do. Here you are. Here you are. Here you are. All right. Uh, you want the lowest one. Okay. And right. I can flip. Flip it over. And the way this works is that uh, every round of combat, uh, the first round of combat, I'm going to say that you are not able to like change your no. Oh, I'm sorry. To flip. You hold and then you click the center mouse button. Oh, you could do it that way too. Um, you are not able to change your initiative, but if you are in earshot uh, at the start of a round, if you want to change your initiative with uh, an ally, you are able to. Okay. All right. Lower is better. I have a one. So you go and you look. You are about to bite. Uh, he um, begins to put his he puts he puts his hands up. I am so sorry, friend. I am so sorry. Algate, Algate, tell them, tell them how sorry I am. And he will stand there. Algate is like, oh, this is good. Will he asks? Puts his hands up, Wolfkin, dot dot dot, and wait. <laughs> he waits while he's writing this. <laughs> uh, rump, rope. Well, this ought to be good. I do nothing. That's good. Uh, we have. Oh, sorry. Okay. I'm a. Yeah, yeah, you pass this into your friend. Oh, this took a turn I wasn't expecting. Your turn. <laughs> oh, wait, it is my turn, right? Or no? Yes, it's your turn. Okay, sorry. I was like, oh, did I make a mistake? Um. Okay. Uh, yeah, she. I. I mean, he warned him, like. But she doesn't f like they're not attacking, so she's like she probably wouldn't really, she wouldn't really see a need to like do anything either. Just be like, uh, he doesn't like to be pet. We didn't get we didn't get him the vest. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing like full on armor. <laughs> I guess that is the vest. Oh. <laughs> Missed. Please don't pet me. <laughs> Mr. Thorn Price. Well, sometimes in chaos there is opportunity. I want to look around the tree. Like, do I see any belongings, items, things of interest? You do. You would see a knapsack. Uh, two knapsacks. I would like to nonchalantly end up over by the knapsacks. All right, so you are going to move. I am going to say that uh, the way that movement works is it's a like a range, a fast action. You're able to move. Um, and if you want to use your slow action, I'm going to say at that point, you'd be able to get two units of movement to the tree. So you're standing there. Oh, okay. Oh, and he starts writing. Goblin is doing goblin things. <laughs> <laughs> Not doing goblin things. I'm doing thorn price things. Yeah. I mean, like, Agate is just, he's just so, he's just writing everything down. Now, moment of truth. 
what would you like to do? You biting? Uh, so I think since he's got his hands up, I won't bite. But there's a social attack with manipulation, maybe, to, like, threaten or something. I'm trying to find it. Okay. Uh, is, isn't there or is there? I'm... You can threaten. I believe it's not like a, you're going to injure them in some way unless you have that talent, right? You're able oh, is that what it them. is? Yeah, with a talent. But uh, your social um, interactions. Are there is like a so there is like a social conflict conflict thing. There is. That's what I'm trying to find. And page ninety eight. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I just happen to be very close to it. <laughs> Excellent social conflict. All right. So you are able to uh, negotiate uh, as far as like an actual like attack or anything like that if you wanted to do something like you could taunt someone uh that can hear you as far as maybe doing a little bit of uh you would get maybe something in that in combat wise but if you're just trying to like manipulate or tell them like bring off bud you know like you could do that as well so yeah i basically uh where i'm going for is just his little apology didn't seem particularly apologetic. So mm -hmm. I just want to kind of get in his face, like put my jaw right next to him and do that growl in the back of the throat that sounds like a tongue clicking. Like, I will rip your throat out if you ever think about doing that again. Like, kind of. Okay. Oh, he's, he's sitting there like that. Go ahead and give me a manipulation. Okay. Check, please. Uh, which I do not have a lot to throw at, but I will borrow some of the two dice rerolls we've got. Sure. Uh, which will give me uh, three, wait, two freebies, three normals, roll, roll. I've got one success, but I would really like to cow this dude. So I will push. Roll, roll. Two total successes. All right. Uh, what are you telling uh, this elf? I don't think it's so much a tell other than just emphasizing that I am going to bite him and just trying to be bigger than him and make him bow down. Like I'm going to put my muzzle over his shoulder and just start to lower it so that he has no choice but to kind of crouch or my jaw hits him. And then if the threat works, all heck breaks loose. Sounds good. Like We've all been there. Oops. Have we? I don't think I've ever done that to someone. <laughs> Isaac, what are you? Bad dog. All right. Your style at the club is very different than mine. Uh, no, I don't do that. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> I don't know. That's what people say, right? We've all been there. Uh, he kind of, okay, okay. Mechanically, the way it works, is if you try to manipulate someone, right, threaten them in any way, they have two things mechanically that they can do. They can stop, right? And I mean, this is something that they would have done anyway. You can't like force somebody to go jump off a bridge unless mm -hmm. you have like that talent. Then maybe, you, you know, you can, <laughs> I you want can that do one. that. You can do anything that you I say you can't do. Mm -hmm. Check out the talents. You probably could do it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but um, within reason, you know, uh, in this case, he has, like, as far as, like, a DM perspective, I can either accept, ask for a little something in return, or I can attack. All right. So maybe someone's upset that they're getting manipulated. Either way, in this case, he will step back. I'm sorry, friend. I am sorry. I am. I only wish. I only wish. To find out more about you. Agate. Yes, yes. 
we 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 want to know everything about all of you all four of you it would be such such a wonderful thing if you would just share every first off what is what are your names and the other you know the other elf is still kind of looking kind of down on his knee information is expensive friend we could tell you all sorts of things about us, but it looks like you've got a couple of knapsacks here. Perhaps we can make a deal. We do. We do have knapsacks. I'm going to ask for another manipulation. <laughs> manipulation. So, five. Do, do. I think there's at least one plus two out there still. Oh, is there? Hey, if you got a pride that could work here. Yes, I believe there were two rerolls purchased. Yeah, I, I used one used... earlier. Oh, you did. Okay, sorry. Um, I would like to activate my pride. I could make anyone yeah. trust me. Do it. You uh, need to roll a d12 alongside. Roll a d12. Roll that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm messing with Casey's stuff here. Sorry about that. No worries. Um, I, do I roll the d12 first? Uh, yes, you can roll that uh, first. You like to activate your pride? Yep. And ro roll your other nice. items as well. What did you get? Uh, ten. That looks like ten on the twelve. And then Ooh. this and this. So, one success. Or total, because of the, D the D12. Mm -hmm. so, remember, so how uh, does the D12 work? For six, it is one success. For an eight, you get two success. Ten, three success. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. For cool. a 12. So these are these artifact dies that if you had like a magic weapon or a magic item, sometimes you would get like this artifact dice to roll alongside. Normally it's like a D8, but your pride, you get to use it once per session. You get a D12, a little bonus to it. So how many in total did you get? So four, four total. Okay, sounds good. All right, he, oh. Well, as long as you are willing to tell us a few, a little bit of information, then we would be more than honored to share. What do you need? What What is it that you all need right now? Gold. Please tell me. Gold. Yeah, six oh. gold pieces. <laughs> and I was going for the throat. <laughs> We're going for the financial throat. <laughs> gold is quite a bit, friend. Did you know? I, of course it you know. Gold. You're... Of course you know you're a goblin. Of course he knows, Agate. Of course he knows. Yes. No, gold is a lot, friend. Silver is what we have. Yes, silver. Yes. All silver right. is what we have. You ask a question, you get an answer, we get a silver piece. Okay, that sounds wonderful. First question. This is for all of you, of course. Agate, of course it is. They, I need to clarify. Yes, they will know. They know now. Yes, they do. Thank you. I am Agate. This is my friend. Hello. Does he have a name? I'm Annex. Annex. Yes, I am Annex, and this that is Agate. Yes, I am. I am Agate. Very. Be it's a beautiful day. A beautiful forest. This is an interesting tree, isn't it? And I have a question for you. First off, is it worth a? Of course, it's worth a silver. What is all of your deepest fears? 
we're gonna start with we're gonna start with you, Mr. Orky Man, Mr. One Tusk. No, a tusk, one tusk. I do not. Does that mean he's half an orc? I don't know that we should ask him next. Half an orc, motherfucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> that I will never see my best friend again. Best Hi. friend. Oh. Oh, so sad. Orcs yeah. have friends. Okay. I'm going to punch this motherfucker, I swear to God. All right. Uh, Mr. Goblin friend, you can come back. We promise to give you... You can come back over... We promise to give, a, give you the silver. We promise. Please. What is your... What is your deepest fear? Simply put, I am afraid of being alone. Okay. Afraid of being alone. Okay. Sure. Bit generic, I know. Yes, they're both very generic. Uh huh. Perhaps oh, if you'd like to deep, so far they are dig all deeper, generic. you'll yes. open your pockets. <laughs> oh, no, no. Mr. Don't come on. Agate. I know what I'm it's I am okay. We are friends now, right? We are friends now, Mr. Um Mr. Wolfkin. We are friends. Right? Yes. That's not the question. But yes, we are friends. Mr. Wolfkin. What do you fear most? You're very scary. Your fangs were extremely scary. I was scared, Agate was scared of Wolfkin's fangs. I fear most being caught far enough from the forest that I can out outrace the blood mist. Ooh, blood mist. No, not the blood mist itself. Being caught too far from my forests. Oh, afraid. Afraid of... The blood mist can be dealt with in several ways. Towns offer harbor, as do the forests, but this open land. That is why he was agitated. Yes, I am sorry. I will n do not approach Wolfkin in an open way. All right. And you are half in friend yes what uh your, what 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 do you fear uh what i fear hmm What I fear would be losing my, like losing myself, losing. I don't know whether to th say the thing that makes you human or that makes you elf, but to lose the thing that makes you, you. Mm. What well, you are. Yes, yes. I, mean, I am both, so I don't know if, if I lose one, I still have the other, but I don't want to lose the thing that makes me me. Mm. Yes, both ambitious, but beautiful. Mm -hmm. Very good. Agate, <laughs> I think you owe them all. And so, keys. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Goblin. Do me, can you, will you be a deer? Will you grab my knapsack for me so I could, res I will give you that, that, pe that silver piece, please. That's uh, not a question. It's, I'm just asking if you would do that for me. In the interest of facilitating this transaction, yes. He'll, thank you. Walk oh. over there rather quickly. We'll do anything for money. Ha <laughs> ha.
Thank you. Almost anything, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I am here for the rest. Annex? Ooh. Yes, Agate? I believe you have a question now. Okay. But we only have two silver pieces. That's why. So you get to ask the next question. I do? Great. I'm not not upset that they're dealing with those that are poor. Interesting. Okay. If you were a type of po no, we're not asking the pasta question again. Okay, we're not we're not asking about being pasta. And what type and what type would you be? We're not doing that, Annex. That is why I, I'm sorry, Agate. I I will not that is much more than that is that is like a copper's worth question. Come on. Okay. How many coppers Serious do you have? Question. <laughs> you asked that and they just write something down. Okay. Um if How did you all deal with the blood mist? It's been what? Jeez, it seems like it just happened. Yeah, what, what a year. That's a little bit longer for you. A little bit, a lot longer for you, right, friend? And they're pointing to you. Yeah. How, how did you all deal with this blood mist? Pretty scary. Eh, it wasn't so bad. I know. But they're not us. I, we know. I know. You have two silvers. You can only ask two of us. Wolfkin can do math, yes. <laughs> you knew what you were writing. <laughs> Good eyes. Merkel's just beaming. Okay. <laughs> they sit and wait which two do you wish to ask mm. well you spoke about the blood mist already I would like to ask the the full orc I will ask the full orc and I will ask uh, the halfkin. That sounds like a wonderful idea. Mr. Full Orc. Uh, well, a great place to start is you just have a very fast amount. So you can at least get to places safer than out in the wilds of nowhere. Any sort of shelter helps. High ground also can be beneficial in most circumstances. Stay away from low depressions would be another follow-up suit. Likes to hang low. And if it's too good to be true, don't go to it. Honest. Honest. Rides horses. Wow. I didn't know that. Yes, they can. Uh, First, you wouldn't check us. <laughs> <laughs> and our and our half elf, our friend. The how did you survive? Um, I lived in, as you know, uh, Moot Water uh, that you have visited. That's right. You spoke uh, about a town, a village. Yeah. Yes, I lived in the village where. I was raised, and then eventually I was taking care of my mother. So, uh, I mostly remained in the town. Mother. And mother, probably old by now. Yes. 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 <laughs> Very old. That's good. Alive. Where is she? Mother. She's old. <laughs> 
He's so old. <laughs> like he sees you and he has the he has the coin and he's just leaning to see if there's anything else that you'll say. Worth a try. Thank you. Now, you say you're all out of coin. Uh, yes, that's what Agate said. <clears throat> that's what I said. Yes. But perhaps you know of these lands. You know yes. where secrets lie, treasures lie, things of the sort. If you have something to trade in terms of knowledge, maybe you get another question. I think are you yeah no these are these these ones are very interesting yes uh I think that we will information for information yes that is the deal okay he I hear it sounds like you are looking for what? What would you like to know? Hmm. The location of the most valuable thing. That you are aware of. In the area. Um, okay. Annex, come here. And Annex kind of stands next to Agate. Oh my god, is the most valuable thing to him his friend? They're going to point to each other's chest. <laughs> Sheik! No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I think they saw that one coming. <laughs> You fell for one of the classic blunders. Perhaps Details. when we dance. It's not a blunder. He, they, it is. Perhaps it when. Is. It perhaps is. Perhaps look. When they ask. And he's going to like, he'll like unbutton his shirt and look. And you'll just see like in the center of his chest, like it looks like almost like a small ruby. And then the other elf takes off his, kind of pulls down his shirt. And it's, it's, it's a larger bit of a ruby hmm. and they just point and it's embedded in their chest and you would see like as they breathe it kind of vibrates kind of out huh. you know I once heard a certain someone say if there's any abnormalities amongst individuals it's probably considered demons no I Thanks. think this is just an elven thing I just see rubies I Perhaps on the next question, we ask for something that we could acquire and sell. Because I suspect the next few answers may be libraries. <laughs> well, you're owed a question. I get, what? I, I, this is going to almost be like a twofer. I know. You are so smart, Agate. And he kind of signs his ruby and then puts it back, kind of closes it back up again. Uh, I'm Agate. Uh, do you remember? We've not been here too long, have we? No? Okay. Um, well, 20 minutes. Oh, good. <laughs> you. He's going to point to uh, Fluffy. You. I want you to ask him. He's pointing to uh, Mr. Thorne Price. What he adores most about you. That is a command, not a question. Will you do it, please? You aren't far. 
If you're looking for something. No. That was your question. That does no. <laughs> I feel that was fair for the pointing at each other's rupees. <laughs> ah. Merkel wanna uh thinks that he quick, can still quick, get some question mark. <laughs> Yes. Uh, Merkel wants to stay on the good side of these guys because he thinks that he could still get maybe something out of them. So he'll he'll uh, answer to the heart of what they're asking, and he'll he'll turn to Fluffy and say, "I appreciate your attention to words and their meaning. This little exercise with these two has shown me that." You're quite good at seeing through the logic of their questions. Thank you. My master trained me to pay quite a bit of attention to such things, lest demons. Master. Demons. What's about demons? Okay. I think we know each other pretty well, don't we? Yes. I consider you all my friends. Oh, jeez. We are not going to play this one-for-one one game anymore. I, I, I will simply ask, go ahead and ask, what do you need to know? I will share you the vast of information that I can remember. We have need of gold to rescue a friend. We seek a way to make it in the man's town nearby. Okay. And he points so... to the goblin. He is a trader. He is a fighter. I journey well. He is useful in some ways. <laughs> I am. You are. You really are. We seek direction to find valuables to sell or work to be done. You would be looking closest here would probably be the hollows. Yes. The hollows. Anyone heard? Yes. Hollows. Uh, Can I make a, have we, I guess, lore? a lore check? Have we heard of <laughs> the who hollows? To, who would like to, uh, who would like to give me a lore check about the hollows? I'll you try. Will get, you will get. I'll... I can help, right? Yes, and you will get an bonus. additional die because they are asking. They're they're giving you a little bit. Yeah. One success right. from me. Okay. Uh I would say that is enough. Uh, what you would know is that it is a small town along uh, the bank of a river. It is. You've heard of this maybe uh, from someone when you were younger. You've heard about the hollows. Uh, you would know that they are well known for their uh, beer. First off, they have amazing beer. That's something that you would know. Um, they have been known to have something about the dead. You're not sure, but the dead have something to do with this town. It is... Okay. And they would tell you um, that it is only a, a what what would you say? Well, if without stopping, you would probably say maybe about a uh, quarter day's journey without stopping away. That means two X's away mechanically. Do they provide a direction or no? Uh, they would point to the northwest. 
Okay. Now, I that's a freebie, so I get to ask a freebie, right? Yes, Agate. Of course you do. Those are the rules. Those does are not the word freebie works. <laughs> does anyone want to sing? Who knows how to sing? Uh, woo. Come on. And he brings out his little... Yeah. And it starts drumming. And they start like Annex starts hopping around and skipping around the group, playing his drum while Agate just like hops around on his flute and like like is doing like little like eye wiggles and stuff at all of you, kind of like woo. That pretty makes good. me he's, he's so pretty good. uncomfortable. <laughs> If we are going to be doing this procession, could we at least do it to the northwest? Oh, are you I traveling think... in that direction? Uh, we are not. Unfortunately, uh, we are not. But you're welcome to stay here with us. We must be going, regrettably. A friend is languishing. He's going to point to, <laughs> to Rope as the one who's languishing. At least that's who she assumes is languishing. <laughs> if we do not meet again, know that we will. You have changed us in some way. All of you. And they will be happy. They will be happy to have heard of you. I'm Acquire... glad to have met you. Oh, the Sorry. Job, Acquire some more silver for our next encounter. We just might meet again. Silver. Yep, silver. That's what, that's what Gold. Yeah. Our stories will be worth more then. <laughs> Can I? I'm, I'm curious. I didn't think about it earlier. Um... Just because they're odd. Is there any, like, anything that, like, ties them to, like, Rust Brothers in any way? I'm still learning about Rust Brothers and stuff, and all I know is that they're odd. These guys are kind of odd. So, like, is there anything that, like, any I'm symbology ask, on them? That sounds great. Well, you think I'm going to ask for a lore check. Might okay. as well. <laughs> Might as well. Let's see. Oh, I'll push it. Why not? Okay, sure. Push. Success. No ones. One success. Ooh, excellent. Uh, let me just take care of this quick. Yeah, thank sure. you. Uh, oh, for the damn reroll. And thank you very much for oh. the Koga. It's very nice to see you. And D good morning from all get... of us here. Good morning, Coco. Oh, also, uh, not, not everybody. Oh, was it not? And huh? hi, the beardy as well. Good well, uh, the beardy gave us. Oh, you did get it already. The the player reroll. Yeah, we got a, we got a player boon. Oh, from and we also DeBeardy. got a player reroll. Thank you. Sorry about that. I was I was being an obnoxious elf. So thank we you. were in, <laughs> we were in the moment. <laughs> Don't in. Uh, so, yes, what you would know is that it is hard, you've not heard of elves. I mean, elves are very, like, kind of mysterious a bit anyway, right? But your mother would have told, talked about at least your dad every once in a while. And he would say that he was known to stay clear of Rust Brothers. Elves maybe might do the same, but your dad anyway, the only elf that you've really met or known, kind of, he stayed clear of him. Okay. Dislike? You know, you know, you don't know too much about that, but it seems like there might be a little bit of a separation between those. Okay, gotcha. Well, I 
What quarter of the day is it? It is now. I'm going to say after that, it is now daytime. Boop. Daytime. Would you like to sit around or would you like to camp into evening? Move. <laughs> Let's get to Hollow. Get some well, beer. Friends, we didn't even get their names. It doesn't matter, Agate. Goodbye. You know, I'm there. Stay with Goodbye. you. Farewell. Farewell. Now it's the start of a new um start of a new uh quarter day. I'm gonna ask for a lead the way and a scout roll, please. I me to continue with the lead. I can still cover the scout. Bye bye me. Okay, three and one. Ah, uh, one success. I get some bonus on Scout from 6th then, so look it up in just a second. It may not matter. I believe that's about being ambushed. I think so. Uh, one success on the Scout roll. I will read what 6th Sense does in a second. Okay. Sounds good. We are moving one further in. Sounds good. Give me. Can someone give me a 2d6 and read it from left to right, please? Anybody else doing it? I, I could do it if you'd like. Okie dokie. Okay, boat up. Oh, right. Um, 11. <laughs> 11? Yeah. Okay. Um, you go and this far, uh, you know, as far as the eye could see, not that far, but, you know, it is planes. You know, you go and you make your way to this next spot. Very quiet. Still a, a bit cold and windy uh out here but it is a very very nice and cozy spot you don't see much of anything maybe you'll see a hawk kind of circling overhead but other than that it doesn't seem to be uh there to be much here uh as you're walking in love you hawk <laughs> Oh? In case you want another one. And that one's a little far away to talk to. Okay, just, you know. You but never know. likely it is a sign from the gods that we should move more quickly across these plains and back into the shelter of the trees. Mm. Or town. <laughs> Sounds good. What would you like to do? Hurry. Would you like to continue? Uh, continue I mean, forward? Yeah, let's push on to the village. All right. By the time, uh, as as soon as you get, you're beginning to walk and you find yourself. Evening approaches. As in the distance, you see a hill. And I actually have. No artwork for you all. Ooh. Ooh. Art the work. With a small palisade with gates. A hollow. Oh, it's got and some that interesting is where features. We are going to end the session for tonight. Oh, woo! Nice. We're heroes. I want to know more. <laughs> Look at that ring of stones that looks like teeths. Demons. Uh, they're all demons. <laughs> all demons. Uh, well, uh, for those of you that we did not use uh, those uh, reroll, the boon and the reroll, uh, I'm going to say that we will, since we can't really we can't give it back to them, right? We can't refund it after we accepted it. Uh, no, I accepted it, I All guess. Right, that's fine. 
we will uh, hold on to that for the next session when we play again. Uh, as far as um, what the group did, it seems that you have made your way a bit northwest. You have found where maybe there might be a town that you could kind of reach, and you've met some friends along the way. Wow. So it's bad you've made... You've made two lower pieces. I don't know who's holding on to that, but Wait, what? Uh, eight I, silver pieces. Two. I can. I added I can two to my sheet, but it doesn't really matter. Wait, what you, happened you to the first the six? Silver. Oh yeah, if you. Oh, that's right. You were collecting the, them. The, so. question, the question was the silver piece. We all have to answer. <laughs> Is they were logic? Yeah, they yeah. say maybe they, Wolf Kim can't do get math. Yeah, cause they said it at the beginning that it would be one, oh, uh, one for yeah. everyone's answer. Yep. But then you swapped it on. You. The... <laughs> they heard you swapping it, and they're like, "Okay, sure." And they 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 were getting information from you just that, so they wrote that down. They were happy to get that. Instead of Wolfkin can do math, they wrote Wolfkin can't do math. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh. <laughs> Dad. Oh. My wits would have been better, but I was out in the open. And it was giving me stress. <laughs> Your greatest fear was in play. <laughs> no, because it wasn't nighttime yet. Mm, it was. And the blood mist doesn't show up during the day. Is Correct. my understanding. Yes. And it hasn't showed up for a year? Uh, yeah. Like like at night, mm -hmm. too? Okay. Mm -hmm. I still don't trust it. Oh, but... yeah, for sure. Woods are town by nightfall. Well, thank you, everyone that stuck with us. Uh, we'll be trying to run this uh, game every so often. Uh, it might be a different day, but we'll announce it ahead of time when we're playing. Uh, thank you very much uh, for those of you that came in. You gave some bits. Thank you for the re-rolls and the boons. Uh, thank you for just hanging out with us. So we uh, on your Friday night or Saturday morning or Saturday afternoon for possibly. Um, thank you, Isaac, for putting the legwork into prepping it and getting this you know, tabletop simulator all set up. And Isaac did some like individual kind of sessions with us uh, before we got started here just to kind of get us comfortable enough to get get going and playing so that was awesome too mm -hmm. so a lot of work oh yeah no no problem i was i was excited so i'm happy that you had i had fun so i'm happy that was, you all it was a lot of fun with, was... with me and i yeah we'll we'll be doing another session in the soon sooner than later yes uh thank you all uh, out there watching we really appreciate you hanging out and being here with us um i think it might be time as far as what's coming up i know Next week, we will have Planescape on Wednesday. Then at that far, we'll have a, another Dolmenwood. Not this weekend, but next weekend. Uh, is there anything else coming up that really... Um, you can watch me play Shadow Dark <laughs> on my birthday, but I'll just be oh, here in my room. That's right. I don't know how like great it'll be to watch, but... Alex is going to... It's his birthday is coming up. So if you haven't already, please join the Discord so you can ask him what he would like for his birthday. Also, it's it's Jenna's birthday the same day as well, so you could ask her that too. <laughs> Yay! Birthdays! You were born. I always forget that. Happy birthday! Happy yeah. birthday! <laughs> we're birthday twins. <laughs> but uh, yes, join the Discord. Come and say hi. We'll probably be hanging out after on in general too. If you ever see us in general too. More than happy to come and talk with new people. We are looking for people to play games with. We are, it seems like in a shift right now, as far as like what's being available, it seems there's a lot of uh, kind of old school essential games that might be available to play in soon, or even maybe uh, some more of these free league games with a dash of 5e. We're still doing 5e strong. You know, we still love 5e. So please come in and join us, and we'd love to have you. Uh, Alex, if you'd be so kind, could you send us on a raid? 
Raid. Yeah. Where should we go? We could raid. So my little blip clicks. We'll go and raid. It's Cliff Gaming. We'll see what they're up to. <gasps> Sounds good. Thank you again, and have a wonderful night. Good night, everybody. Au revoir. Little birdies. We're in the plains.